Okay, ladies, are you ready? Hello, everyone, and welcome to this, the latest episode of Book Time with Elvis, with me, Mark, and I suppose I could say today's a little bit of an Easter special. I'm not really, well, I'm not going to talk about books, actually. Uh, I thought I would uh, give you a short video uh, about uh, Easter in the Czech Republic and some of the traditions we have here, because they're quite different from uh, what some of you might be used to. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Easter in the Czech Republic. Uh, of course, it happens at the same time as it happens in the rest of the world. Um, and we have, you know, the same the same days, but uh, some of the traditions are quite similar. So there's egg painting, for example, there's festive breads. Um, they have something called mazanets, which is like a, a giant hot cross bun without the cross on it. But it's, you know, like a big um, uh, round bread that's sweet. It's filled with dried fruit, nuts, that kind of thing. And they also bake a cake that's in the shape of a, a, a ram or a young ram. Um, as well, that's uh, traditionally eaten over Easter. Um, the Czechs name the days uh, from um, the Wednesday all the way through to uh, Easter Monday. Um, in Czech, the Wednesday is called um, Ugly Wednesday or Škareda Štreda, which is quite difficult to say. Uh, then the Thursday is Green Thursday or Zelený Štvrtek. And on this day, quite often, um, to herald, you know, the start of spring and things like this, um, for about a month or so, uh, green beer is available in the pubs, um, and they call it Yani Pivo, or spring beer. It's a bit similar, I suppose, to the green beer that you get at St. Patrick's Day and other places. Then, of course, there's Good Friday, or Velki Patek, which is kind of like Great Friday, or Big Friday. Then uh, you have White Saturday, which is Bila Sopota. And then Easter Sunday, which is Nedjele Velikonochni. And uh, on this day, this is when girls um, traditionally would paint eggs and boys would prepare their pomlaska. And you're probably wondering what that is. And that's the strange thing I was waving uh, at the start of the video, which is this thing here. It's a, it's a whipping stick or cane made from um, the parts of... Uh, a pussy willow or willow tree you can see here it's kind of woven woven together and you know it has a little handle on it and this is what boys make uh, traditionally uh, on Easter Sunday I'll get to the rest I'll get to more about this in a minute the big day for Czechs when it comes to Easter is uh, Easter Monday and on Easter Monday of course sadly not last year and not this year because of the pandemic on Easter money, the young men, uh, well, boys, young men, men, uh, they do something called koleda. And koleda is kind of roughly translated as caroling. So, you know, at Christmas time, if people go from house to house singing carols, at Easter time, boys and men go from house to house carrying this pomlaska, this um, willow stick. And basically, they knock on the doors of the houses. Usually, it's prearranged, so you would visit uh, the houses of, of friends. Um, pers pro probably, you start off, of course, with your own family, your wife and your daughter, your mother, your grandmother, whatever. And they take their sticks. At the time, you have to imagine there's no ribbon on them, so they're just a plain one. They take their sticks, and they then proceed to... I was going to say whip or beat their women folk, but of course that wouldn't be nice and some of you would be shocked because it isn't it isn't like that at all. But, you know, that's kind of um, the symbolism of it, I suppose. Um, and they, you know, lightly tap the backsides of their women folk, friends, family, uh, whilst reciting uh, a poem. And the poem's quite long, but I'll just give you a part of it. So they would whip it and they would go, Hodi hodi doprovodi, dejte vajce malovani, uh, nedate li malovani, diete aspon bili, slepička vam, uh, snese jini. And it roughly translate, uh, translates as, um, you know, sing, feast, feast, um, bring me painted eggs. If you don't have any painted eggs, then bring some white ones, because the hens will lay another. And this actually carries on quite a long time, so I, you know, it check, checks hard enough, so I'm not going to recite the whole thing. But they recite that while they whip, tap, um, the women 
and this um and, and and sometimes people make up their own ones i've heard some kind of comedic ones where people just go boom 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 demi by tenebrum room and it translates as like you know boom 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 give me an egg or give me some rum and um you know once they finish tapping uh the women folk you know girls and, and ladies um they the women in return will tie on a ribbon they will give the men and boys uh, a colored or painted egg also some sweets chocolates cakes etc and of course mostly for the grown men but not always i have to say sometimes they're quite relaxed when it comes to easter time uh, they will give um, the uh, men uh, a shot of alcohol and it can range from something quite mild to some really strong home brews and um so you can imagine you know average probably maybe 20 odd houses you might visit you would get 20 shots of alcohol so your easter monday is pretty ruined after the time you've done this um i've done this a few times um i avoided it for the first couple of years i was here because i just thought it was really strange and then i joined um a climbing club and yes you heard that right a climbing club a rock climbing club uh, however, you can probably guess that I, I'm a social member rather than an active uh, an active climber. And um, this is a great group, actually, because we go at Easter time, uh, we go in a van. Of course, the driver doesn't, uh, doesn't drink. Uh, most of the group wear traditional uh, clothing from this particular region of the, Czech, of the Czech Republic. And as I said, we'd probably visit a minimum of, uh, of 20 houses. So we'd get, you know, lots of food and lots of alcohol. Um, during those 20 houses. Sometimes it can get a bit raucous as we get towards the end. Maybe the taps turn a little bit harder from, from some people. Um, but generally, it's it's all good fun, uh, really. Um, I don't know exactly what women think, but as obviously at school, I get to talk to a lot of um, girls and, and women about what they think of it. And I think the the really young ones quite like it because, you know, they're friends from school. The You know, the little boys from school turn up and they get to see them and they think it's quite fun. Typically, teenage girls kind of run away, you know, run away from home for the day, hide under the beds, try not to, try not to get caught. And certainly older women uh, like it. I mean, when we turned up once at someone's grandmother's house, she, she shed a tear because it was nice to see everybody in these traditional costumes and they'd come for her. And the idea of it isn't about violence at all. I, I guess it's kind of some fertility, right? You know, given the fact that you've got this long stem and you tap, tap the women and they give you an egg, uh, it kind of says what itself. But it's also supposed to be a bit restorative um, to give health and beauty uh, to women for the coming year. So uh, I guess, you know, the, the, the motives are good. Uh, and, and I say, it, you know, as a man, of course, it is quite a fun tradition. It's hard for me really to see it from uh, the other side. Um, typically, after this, the climbers would uh, go and rock climb in the afternoon. So that kind of shows you the attitude here, sometimes to health and safety. Uh, personally, I, I've only made it down there once, uh, you know, to grill up some sausages and have a chat. Usually, I find myself having to go to bed quite early and it knocks me out even for the next day. And that's the hard thing. I don't know why they do it on Easter Monday. They could do it on Good Friday and then recover the rest of the weekend. But they do it on Easter Monday. So you go back to school uh, or work on the Tuesday. And certainly in my first year uh, that I did it, I remember going to school on the Tuesday. I had a couple of free periods and I fell asleep in my office, uh, which my colleagues found rather hilarious. Um, just to even things up a bit, uh, several years ago, um, girls and women uh, do have their own time to be able to do this. They do it before Easter, typically two weeks, three weeks, uh, or even a week before Easter, depending on the different region that they're in. So I hope that was a little bit of interest to you. I'm sorry it wasn't about books, but, you know, um, I think sometimes it's, it's nice to have a, a break from that and you know, learning about other cultures can can be quite interesting. Um, so really, I would say to you all, of course, thanks for watching. Uh, take care, stay healthy. And of course, Vesele Velikonotse, or Happy Easter. All the best. Bye bye.